So earlier this year, I ended a relationship and cut off an engagement from a great, a great man. I've been waiting for this. He was a good man. What? He loved God. He was a praying man. He loved and adored me. He was there for me. He was handsome. He was well-educated. He didn't have any kids. He checked all the boxes. I think that's cap. But there was still something missing. So the street she shall return. I just knew that I could not go through with this marriage. Uh -huh. There was just something that did not connect. I, I felt that there was some, should have been a connection between he and I in order for me to be his wife. And so I cut off the engagement and it was so difficult because he was a good man. That's cap. It's easy when a person is not good. You can, you can justify why you cut things off, but when a person is truly a good person, it's hard to explain. What most men don't understand is that when you give a woman too much of your love, you don't look like the leader in the relationship anymore. You start to look like a slave and your niceness starts to become a nuisance. This happens with most people that are going to get hurt. You're trying your hardest in the relationship to be the best person, to put off the best vibes, so that person never feels aggression at all, and they value you for it. But in life, women need some type of aggression to show signs of leadership, and that's what keeps her interest, It's knowing that she has a masculine man that can hold masculine frame. When they start talking about how nice you are, that means she's never seen masculine frame out of you, and this would be one of the biggest turnoffs when it comes to women. So I found myself trying to explain it to family and friends, and they were asking me a whole bunch of questions that, you know, I, I could not say, you know, exactly why, other than the fact that I just did not feel the connection. There was something that was not there that I needed to be there in order for this to be my husband. This is why I tell you guys, do not start to rush the relationship. The faster you move, the quicker she's gonna be bored. The slower you move, the faster she's gonna be there around you to adapt to you. Too many guys adapt to the woman first. And when it comes to women, depending on the mood that they're in at the time, they may just entertain the relationship because they feel like it's the great thing to do. It'll look cute in front of the family. Remember, I said women live in themes. When the themes run out, they start looking for other characters to play. The only type of man that can get a woman to play one character is a stoic man who's not emotional or puts off the same type of nice guy vibe every time. What do I mean nice guy vibe? That means no matter what happens in the situation, you're always trying to calm the situation down and find a better way to handle things without aggression. And so I stopped trying to explain it and I just trusted my decision and I went on. But then I got an epiphany and it was just like, have you ever been shoe shopping? And you saw a nice pair of shoes and it's like, oh, I love the color. I love the style. The heel is the right size. And it's a reasonable price. Like it's on sale and it's a good shoe. But then when you approach the shoe, you see that it's a size six and you need a size seven. This kind of happens like when you look at a girl from a distance and she starts to look cute, then when you get close to her, you're like, man, she's piled her face up with makeup. She got craters in her face. It just doesn't look as good. That's kind of what she's talking about. Does it take away from the fact that the shoe is a good shoe? Does it take away from the fact that you're getting a great deal for the, pro for, for the quality? Does it take away from the fact that the heel is still the right size? It doesn't matter all of that still makes this the shoe is still good but if it's not your size it's not the shoe for you this is why i tell you guys know your lane know what lane that you attract women i always say i know tattoo artists their women are tattooed from head to toe with a lot of piercings to tattoo artists that i know these girls are pretty to them what may be ugly to me because he's in that lane it's the same like when you look at golfers and you get inside the country club people they look at life totally different than somebody from the hood so you have to know what lane you are in in life and the girls that are attracted to you so it's easier for you to be in relationships you could take two desperate people and put them in the same room they'll find a way to be together because they hate being apart and so that is what i had to accept yes he was a good man but what that feeling was is that he was not a great fit for me it didn't take away from who he was but it was just confirmation that he was not a good fit for me and that leads me to say that some of us are trying to force 
relationships. I have to agree on that. People want to force relationships when they hate being alone. That's what makes a woman dangerous. It's because when she gets along, it's easy for it. When she gets lonely, it's easy for her to grab a desperate man who's thinking with his desires and pretend to be in a relationship just to keep from being lonely. This is what's messing up relationships in modern society is the strong taking advantage of the weak, which is why it's important for you guys to adjust to being alone, to getting a lot more accomplished when you're alone. I tell you you're not an introvert you're a loner introverts are alone because they have a lot of ideas they prefer to be alone than to be in relationships because they have ideas loners are alone because they're mad they can't be with anyone when we know they don't fit it doesn't mean that the the person is not good it doesn't mean that they are not good-hearted people it just means that they're not a good fit for you and everyone needs to understand in relationships it is perfect and not in life it is perfectly natural for you to be in and out of multiple relationships it's just a matter of how fast you can move on some people get hurt one time they don't know how to date again you have people that go in and out of relationships their whole life until they find one that sticks so the only thing that matters is how quickly you get over the relationship because you may spend a lifetime learning yourself so free them up don't continue to settle for things that you know is going to cause discomfort in the future me purchasing a size six shoe when i wear a seven is discomfort don't do it her advice works best for men and women is because you have a lot of people out there that do not want to be alone and the first thing that they do is take advantage of someone that they really don't like that really wants to be with them because it gives them control over their emotions they can control how they emotionally are going to handle the situation this is why I tell a lot of you guys, it is not good for you to chase the woman at all because women are emotional creatures. They can get lonelier faster. Once they get lonely and need men around them, that's fairly easy for a woman to do. Most women don't even need makeup. They could just say, hey, somebody come spend time with me and a guy is there. It's their cheat code. But as a man, if you fall into a woman's cheat code, you're going to lose all almost every time most guys are getting a cheat code used on them when you manage to get a woman outside of your league that's where you end up with a girl that you may think you're going to smash that's prettier than what you normally get or this is the girl that showed you attention when no other girl showed you and she's still pretty to you in your eyes she's just darling this and darling that she is so innocent no matter what she do chances are you are under her cheat code because you have a woman you did not believe that you can get typically you're going to get played when it comes to a relationship if you want it to last you and her can never use the word love me and my woman have never used the word love and we've been together i told her a long time ago if you want to maintain this relationship we would never use the word love we will only judge each other's actions so if you love me act it if i love you i have to act it but we are never going to tell each other that we love you because we can't trick each other with words when we have to pay attention to the actions you guys have to learn to pay attention to the actions when you're with women and stop falling for these things. It is so easy for a woman to pull you into her thing. You have so many guys out there that get these big lavish weddings and they're divorced within a couple of years or they're miserable in their marriage because the big lavish weddings was her theme. Most of the relationships that last together for a very long time get married with like two people around them because it's not about what you're showcasing to the world. It's about how you actually feel inside. Thank you for watching Anthony Spade Reactions. If you want more reaction videos, make sure you click on the links below in the description and watch my other videos. But also check me out on my second channel, Life with Anthony Spade, so you can watch more daily blogs of my personal life. Hasta la vista. Hemi's have a different head for each side. We got a ZL1. Everything's assembled with ARP 2000 rod bolts.
scat pack. So you left the V sticker on it? Yeah, so that's a new timing chain. Is this the timing chain? 